Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Exena's Take, where is my take on pop culture, politics, movies, TVs, music, anything that suits my fancy. So I'm going to make this real quick, I'm make a quick video, right? Because I missed y'all. Anyway, Will Smith, we still talking about this, but the Oscars have made their determination or handed down their sentence, because that's what it feels like. Dude got 10 years. 10 years i'll be the first one to admit in my past vlogs videos whatever y'all want to call them that i found it inappropriate what will did was inappropriate y'all can catch those vlogs that i made about it um please do get my viewership up um where i said it was inappropriate but damn 10 years that's harsh like that's a whole prison sentence i mean i get what he did was wrong but 10 years Okay, well, he said he accepts the, the decision or whatever. He's not going to fight it. So, I mean, hell, he probably don't give a shit. I mean, he don't want his Oscar. I wouldn't give a shit. I don't already got an Oscar. I can see if I didn't get an Oscar, I might care. But, you know, he won it. So, anyway, moving on. Cardi B. Anybody who know me know I love me some Cardi B, right? So, last week sometime, a few days ago, whatever time it was, I think it was a few days ago, she decided to quit Twitter because of some fans uh, who were being disrespectful about her children. And she had, I think, even wished death on one of the fans' mothers or something like that. And everybody got all up in arms. I read the comments. Everybody's like, you don't wish death on somebody, da-da-da-da-da. You're in a public eye. People are going to criticize. Okay, I get that. She is in a public eye. Her children are not. Okay, they didn't choose to be born to two famous rappers, okay? Cardi B and Offset. They didn't choose that life, okay? And yet people feel like it's okay to comment on her children. And some of the things I've read that they've said is horrible. So I'm with her on that. Not about the quitting Twitter thing because I'm stubborn and I wouldn't quit shit, but I ain't in the public eye and I ain't a big rapper like she is, you know, whatever. But it maybe it was only for her mental health that she quit. Could have been for her mental health because this shit, this, this social media shit can get to you. And I'm not even famous. So I know for somebody who has constant criticism, definitely can get to them, right? Here's my thing. As a mother, you come for my kid, all bets are off. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that wasn't the most appropriate thing to do was to wish death on somebody's kid. I mean, wish death on somebody's mother. But you come for mine. All bets are off. You just gonna get what the fuck you get. You gonna get it how I give it. That's my take on that. Y'all can come at me if you want to. Let me know. I'm trying to make this quick because I don't really have that much time. Um, Jennifer Lopez, she's engaged for the 878th time. Um, she circled the block like that. Jenny from the block. She circled the block back around. Got with Ben. Now she's back engaged to him again and. I mean, I don't really give a fuck, honestly. I'm just reporting it because, I mean, I'm just talking about it because it's all over the news right now, but she's engaged again. Everybody's all like, oh, 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 I don't care. Really. How many times has this girl been engaged? Like 878 times. At this point, it gets old. Hell, she's like the Elizabeth Taylor of, of the Latinas at this point. Like, you know, but I mean, we, we, we try to class that up and say she's the Elizabeth Taylor because she got money and she famous, but, you know, back in my hood, we call that a hoe, but whatever. Is it wrong for you to call it a hoe? I just said she a hoe. Like, it's a shame that that woman has that much success, that much money, has reached the heights of fame, and can't find herself to be alone. Like, she just jumps from man to man, relationship. Like, before, like, the ink was even dry on her divorce, or before, like, you can dry her tears from the last relationship, she on to the next one. And y'all can always say the feminist, the feminist can come out and say, well, she got the right to move around me and do it, whatever, whatever. I, I'm old school. I get that. I get, I mean, hell, I'm a woman of a certain age. You know, if I want to just fuck you to fuck you, I can do that. I wouldn't make it public though, but I can do that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I just, some, something is not right with that woman that you feel like you, she got either abandonment issues or she just can't be alone or Honey, I'm alone now and I'm broke as shit and I'm okay with that. I mean, I mean, I have my nights, don't get me wrong. I have times where I'm lonely, but I mean, it is what it is, whatever. I still ain't talked about Wiz Kid like I want to, but I will get to it eventually when I have more time. And I was going to talk about that you, that OnlyFans influencer who killed 
her boyfriend um i will say something about it though i feel two ways about it one i don't really have that much I, okay life was lost so there's that but i don't know it's kind of hard for me to defend him because of all the bullshit he talked about black women and how he talked down about black women and just made us seem like we're the scum of the earth and like his white woman was his savior or whatever but at the same time bitch was dead wrong and she should be, she shouldn't be walking free just from a justice standpoint and a fairness standpoint she should not be walking free but let me know what you think uh like subscribe leave a comment please leave a comment y'all i want to talk to y'all leave a comment dang all right y'all i'm out let's talk